the city of the sun You could have stayed, it's only over when the day is done I never knew you was a runner, yeah And I mistook you for a son It don't matter what we think when it's all over Cause this is our last time Is it fun? Fun. Fun. <laughs> After me. Ready? Happy. Oops. Happy. New. 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 Today is June 18th, 2024. It is 6.29 a.m., 6.30. This is video number two. I have some tweets that I sort of gathered. I thought, since I don't post that much over here, a lot of negativity on IP Team Sussex. So I sort of grabbed some stuff to share with you. One, two, three, four, five. Only five tweets, okay? So let's get going. Let's look at the numbers and then um, go to Twitter. Let me grab the link. Okay, 3,940 subscribers. I don't know if there's new subscribers. If you are new, welcome. And my estimate revenue, $75.70. Analytics, okay, 260, 262 views in the last 48 hours. Like I said, I don't post every day on this channel, so that's decent, okay? I'm okay with that. And there's the estimate revenue, and there's that, okay? So let's go on Twitter. Um, I just added this. Uh oh, someone just notified me. I checked it. So um, I have this on the list, but um, that's not the one I want to do first. All right, first tweet. Exactly. You can tell Nacho Figueroa's what to do. I really like him. There's the life here. The Daily Beast pointing down here now understands from a source that Megan did not order up the post from Figueroa's and, in fact, had no input over when or if he will post. I mean, this is no brainer. Okay, critics suspect that Megan's fingerprint are all over the affair. However, the Daily Beast now understands from a source, uh oh, they start with their source here, 
care that Megan did not order up the post from Figueroa's and fact had no input over when or if he will post. Of course, ceding exact control over context and timings is an inherent rank and a user-led social media campaign, especially when you're cheerleaders or powerful celebrities and their own right who might not react well to having their posts micromanaged. As one marketing expert told the Daily Beast, quote, these are the same nonsense they're bringing it here. Quote, while I'm sure the gift packages came with notes requesting social media coverage, what? If you're giving somebody something, you can't tell them what to do with it. Either they accept the gift or don't accept it, but you can tell them what to do after that. Okay, you can tell Nacho Figueroa's what to do. So I think it's certain the timing of his post was his own idea. Don't forget, the, the thing said, the gem said two of two. You probably didn't see it yet. Maybe later on you'll see it. Um, maybe from another post. It says two of two. So there must be, remember, Father's Day just last Sunday. So maybe it was a gift for Father's Day. Okay. All right, where was I? So I think it's certain the timing of his post was his own idea. The larger point here is that the American Riviera Orchard campaign has been phenomenally successful and cost Megan nothing. Exactly. Cost absolutely nothing. It is a textbook social media campaign. The only problem is that it still seems to be nothing. She may not even be selling gem, in my humble opinion. It could be whatever the gift package, whatever the basket, or whatever it is. Nobody knows. I, I, in one video, I don't know if it's on this channel. I read, uh, uh, was it when they try to trademark the American Riviera, what sort of things they'll be selling and stuff like that. Jim was not in it. All right, let's continue. As one marketing expert told the Daily Beast, while I am sure the gift packages came with notes requesting social media coverage, you can't tell Nacho Figueroa what to do. So I think it's certain the timing of his post was his own idea. The larger point here is that the American Riviera Orchard campaign has been phenomenally successful and cost Megan nothing. It is a textbook social media campaign. The only problem is that there still seems to be nothing actual for sale. So what is it all for? I guess we will find out. That's all. You just need to find out. People, Those people are jumping, you know, the gun, saying their BS and all sort of things. Okay. It's on, oh, that's him. Okay. June 16. All right. She's not telling anything yet. Is the campaign is successful. Imagine what happened when she actually starts selling things. Exactly. Natural Figura is his own man. That's it. The reality is he already had those doggy biscuits long before Friday night, 6 p.m., breaking news that Kate was going to attend Trooping the Color. Okay, the irony is yet again, the media, the Rangers, did all the free advertising for Megan. That's it. Yeah, so that's this. I don't want to cover that. Okay, love Nacho Figueroa. Always there for Harry and Megan. American Riviera Orchard. Nacho is in New York City, now for work. So that's 15 hours ago. Nacho is in New York City now for work. Megan wouldn't have sent the gem the whole way to New York City. Nacho probably paid them a visit to Cali or they visited him and his family. Also, who said Megan asked him to share it right when he did? It looked like a personal gift to him as it was two of two jaws. That's what I'm saying. I think the first one, which I said on one of my videos on Apu Team Sussex, maybe Tyler Perry got one if it is for Father's Day. Tyler Perry probably got one, one of two, and Nacho got two of two. Let me see what some people say here. Okay, we have Polo in New York City. I know everyone was talking about our new cricket venue and team. We used to have a stadium called the Polo Ground, but it was mostly for baseball. Okay, I don't know. I didn't even know. I know what she's talking about, the cricket thing. And I think the cricket team, the U.S. cricket team beat, is it India or Pakistan? One of those. Okay, I know they were close uh, border kind of uh, neighbors, either Pakistan or India. They talk about it. And that's when I was like, oh, did the U.S. have a cricket team? I didn't even know. And then I started saying, but when you look at baseball, for instance, the stick, the bat for baseball is much linear and, you know, smaller in terms of width. But when you look at the cricket uh, thing, it's huge. It's like a freaking racket. <laughs> 
<laughs> tennis racket. But anyway, let's move on. Okay, let me read some of these. Okay, two of two. I can believe they care so much about a little Enstopos that they're investigating it more than anything from that island. That's what I'm saying. This is distraction. Anything that they could write nonsense about to distract people from reality, the thing that matters, the election, politician doing nonsense. This is what they want to do with our media. One of my recording, I think video one was what I was talking about. Okay, Nacho can post whatever he wants, whenever he wants. Not that a big deal. Nacho has numerous in common with both Harry and Meghan. And he is not the type for person to BS. He is also immensely loyal. And he knows what Harry and Meghan have been through. Thus, he will have posted the American Riviera fair when he did. He is immensely loyal, period. Okay, very successful marketing strategy. I know the Rangers don't like that part. <laughs> okay, Megan and Harry weren't invited to Charles' birthday parade, so I don't care what they think. Megan and Harry shouldn't have to worry what their friend decided to do. Okay, first of all, the Daily Beast is lying. They don't have no sources. Who cares if Nacho posts the gym? The world doesn't revolve around the Royals. Okay, a source seems credible. <laughs> I, I don't know. They're using the same tactic. They're using the same tactic as the UK media. That's all. It's the same nonsense they're importing over here in the US. I don't think so. I don't think so. All right. This is something for them to... Uh oh, shoot. I copied that instead of pasting it. Copy. Um, they're using the same tactic as the UK sources. All right. Next tweet. This is something that... Uh, this is the thing that Nacho posted. Okay, we're posting Nacho's raspberry jam and dog base with pictures for the people who are still crying. <laughs> oh, she retweeted herself. Nacho posted these pictures an hour ago on his IG stories an hour ago. Raspberry jam and dog biscuit. So for those who didn't see it. So this is why it says two of two. Okay. And there's the dog biscuit. Uh, uh, uh. And there's that as well. Okay, Nacho Figueroa's. That was what, uh, on Sunday, I think? No, it was Saturday. I remember I was uh, driving. We were driving. Not me driving. My husband was driving. So it was on Saturday. Okay, I'm loving the royal puppy treats for dogs. That got my full attention. I can't wait to buy what Megan sells. I'm sure Maureen would love to get his hand on those dog biscuits for Winston. Uh, what is it? Uh, the he was getting i don't know it's when one of my videos on rp team sussex getting pay and <laughs> dog biscuit kind of thing okay i'm back to the original tweet that she retweeted the one that i bookmark okay what gets me is that the tabloid media went to natural's ig to find and publish this on trooping just so they could blame megan it appears that they routinely patrol the social media pages of all megan's friends and acquaintances to grab for content Okay, Nacho posted those pictures to his Instagram story. He then posted to his page. He also then mentioned Megan's name. He posted those pictures with a motivational quote. The only people who saw it are following him. And no one asked them to write an article about it. That's that. Mm -hmm. The same thing where Megan and Harry were, you know, in the docu serious. Megan was crying her eyes out and then the royal family it seemed like something in their brain is missing as if it was megan is controlling what the tabloid was writing i mean the tabloid people know exactly what they're doing the royal family think these people are for them they just the tabloids for money anything that could get them money they don't care if people survive or die nothing okay reposting the repos give me joy <laughs> that's that okay what's this okay i don't Oh, clever. This is when you just end. The Duchess Megan Pack Latte Company Clever Blend is now available at Whole Food and the US. Okay, so this is news to me. I just share it with you here. Let's go to the next tweet. Let me like it and bookmark it ah, so it could come back. Okay, oh, cow, cool, never. There's all of that. Okay, ladies, make that money, Megan. Get your. <laughs> there's that. Get your coin. Okay, that's an ad. Let's go to the next tweet. Ah, I keep on doing that. Copy it instead of pasting it. Copy. Okay, two more tweets after that. 
Okay, so glad she doesn't have to dress in Mary Poppins cosplay anymore. But she did it the best when she was still in the fold. There's that here. I love this hat. Okay, the Duchess of Sussex. There's that. Leaving proof that being royal should not be automatically chosen by birth. Two princesses who are and were in a class of their own were both married into, not born from the bloodline. The bloodline is tainted and needs to be removed from head of state position immediately. Okay, I actually really like her clothes. That's what she's saying here. When she was still in the fold, she made the best of it. All right, that's what she's sort of saying. What was it? But she did it the best. She did it the best when she was still in the fold, which means she was doing her best while she was still in part of the royal family. So her dress and everything like that. And for, I like that hat. It looks good on her. But, um, yeah, whatever. Okay, I actually really like her clothes. Okay, yep, I so don't miss that foolery, despite the British high society fashion with a passion. <laughs> the fact that Meghan did it better was the problem. The then Duke and Duchess of Dolittle were shown up. Okay, they lost their mind over this style. Did they? Very interesting. Okay, how can you say that when the bust closure is rolling? This is a badly fitted outfit. How is that? Where is the ill-fitted out? Please. Oh. Okay. So that's all of this. This is extra. For me to be Megan Marco fan, I shouldn't have the energy to talk about that other woman. I have learned to focus on praising this hardworking woman who chose her family, peace, mental health, over toxicity without having to compare her with other women because she is her. Okay? So that's that. Let's go to another tweet. That was just extra. I saw it and I <laughs> read it. I have one more. So this is a video and I'll have to put some screenshot in between. The main thing is pay attention to the audio. So there's no comment. There's this here. Suit star Wendell Pierce speaks about reuniting with co-star Megan. Quote, had a chance to say hello and wish she and Prince Harry well. Wish the children well. They look very much in love and were very happy. So that's the most important thing. 46 second screenshot, okay? Uh, when she came into town, uh, she got an award last year and uh, had a chance to say hello and uh, wish she and uh, Prince Harry well and um, and wish the children well. And uh, so, you know, they look very much in love and we're very happy. So that's 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 the most important thing. You know, I've gotten to see her just uh, a few times since and uh, so been able to reminisce and uh, and so it's, it's real. We have fond memories of working together. Okay? eight years ago and wow. so to have it have this resurgence uh is pretty amazing and so now there's going to be a new generation of folks to take it over and uh, i'm sure that some of us will make some cameos but it's really great to have a uh, resurgence that's nice i wish you came okay. in town uh it's done okay so there's no comment let's go to my last one and then that will be it Okay, okay, so this has nothing to do with the Sussexes. I was watching this and I was like, what in the name? All right, so OMG, please watch how old he thought the Islanders were. All right, Love Island. So it's a minute and 47 seconds. There'll be screenshot in between and some, yeah, let's listen. Yes, their age. Okay. He has to guess the age. 38, lips, nose. Yeah, so obviously she has some more time, in my opinion. 42, yes. Oh Cheeks, my god. Lips, nose, fake lashes, brows, Botox. Are those two different voters of the same person? Yes. Oh, this is Oh wow, that's the same person? Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm not, I'm gonna look at a real photo. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, she's she's 35. Lips, veneers, Botox, maybe a little too killer. 32. Lips. Wow. Veneers, nose. Actually. Cheeks. I actually thought she was older. Botox. This yeah. is their real ages. Oh my god, 26. Oh my god. Harriet is 24. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. And then Jess is 25. Wow. Yeah, I mean, obviously I don't watch this show, maybe I should, but this is crazy. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think that, you know, plastic plastic surgery and injectables done incorrectly can make you look older. Wow. So, um, boy, I was really off. But why do it though? I understand, let's say for instance, there's an accident happen, disfigurement or something. I think this is what those things should be used for, but you have nothing wrong with your face. But there was something else I saw in here. Let me see. I think this one. So let me share that with you as well. And then after that, that's it. I'll do a prayer for Harry and Megan and the natural family, Figueroa's family, all of us. Okay, it's a minute and 19 seconds. Let's listen. All the girls on Love Island UK all look so old. Why do they all look so old? I'm going to tell you exactly why. Because it's not some big mystery why they all look so aged by their Botox and filler. It's actually very easy to explain. In the US, Botox and filler can only be administered legally by either a doctor or a nurse injector, a licensed medical professional. In the UK, legally, anyone can carry out Botox treatment. Now, technically, there's like a certification that you're supposed to get in order to give Botox and filler, but... It takes two days. This is like what? the leading place that people get this certificate. It takes two days. You could tell your best friend, hmm, I really need some filler in my cheeks on Thursday and by Monday, she could be shooting it up for you at home. Oh and then because you don't need a formal education, you don't need any training to do this, loads and loads of people are able to give it to each other and therefore the price of the service goes down. So in the US, hmm, I want more lip filler, but I can't afford it because it's three, four, five hundred dollars. In the UK, it's like 30 pounds, 40 pounds, 50 pounds. Wow. Because you don't have to pay for somebody who's gone to, you know, medical school for 10 years in order to give it to you. You can give it to your lash tech and she'll do it for 20 quid. It's actually so terrifying and mind boggling to me that the UK has those regulations like that. And it is truly the wild fucking west of filler and Botox in the UK. Well, okay, so that's that. So let's do a prayer. Let's get out of here. All the girls on Love Island, uh, uh, UK, uh, uh, all uh. looks so. All right, so let's do a prayer. Prayer for, for, let's do prosperity. Prosperity. And uh, let's look for another word. And what? Protection is good. Let's say health protection. Let's see what happened. Let's see what happened here. Okay, here are some prayers for prosperity and health protection. Okay, Psalm 16, Lord, you give me stability and prosperity. You make my future secure. It is as if I have been giving fertile field or receive a beautiful track of land. I will praise the Lord who guides me. Yes, during the night, I reflect and learn. All right, so let's read this as well. Lord, many do not have this privilege and I ask you to make me privileged today. Bless me with long life and a long life filled with bliss, fulfillment, accomplishment, and blessings. Bless my long life with good health and sound mind. Definitely sound mind. Lord, just as my soul prosper, may my body prosper too. Okay, I think that's pretty good. All right, this is for all of us, Harry Megan. Okay. So that's it. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link and a Cash App link in the description. You could donate. Those who have donated, thank you. And check my shop. See if you like some of the merch that I have. Thank you for watching and thank you for your support.